Well, uh, you mentioned Butch Reed, what a great athlete he was. Uh, and now he's a baby face and the North American champion here. Um, pretty obvious that Watts was trying to recapture some of that old JYD magic. And uh, JR has been open on his podcast about how Watts specifically wanted to find his next big African-American star. Uh, did you see Reed as being a guy who could carry that banner for Mid-South? <sighs> Uh, it pains me to say this, but no, he couldn't do it, man. Mm. You know, there was only one JYD, bro. And uh, if you'd put an honest search out there, you'd still be searching. Mm -hmm. Because there was only one one of those. Now, do you think it was uh, something that Reed was lacking, or do you think it's just JYD's charisma was just something? His charisma was just too, too way too way over the top and too too strong. Uh, what about Reed's ring work? I know you were in there with him a lot. Better than Dog? Yes. Oh, yeah. Dog just kind of had his shtick where Reed yeah. could actually go a little bit, right? Yeah. If you had been given the opportunity to book Reed, would you have preferred to see him as a baby face or a heel here in Mid-South? I love him as a heel, man. Right? Yeah. What is it about him that you think makes him a great heel? He's just so damn strong and he can back it up. <laughs> yeah. You know, he can go out there and go if he wanted to. I never saw a need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame Well, and you were there when he fought Barbarian, so you're probably like, eh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Butch is, I've been in a ring with Butch. <laughs> Nobody to piss with, that's for sure. No, no, he's a good guy, man. <laughs> 